Ratings agency Moody's says that the rate of mortgage arrears in Australia, that is, the number of borrowers at least 30 days behind in their mortgage repayments, has grown over the past few years to 1.58%. That's despite the RBA cutting the cash rate to a record low of 1%. Sally Auld, chief economist at JP Morgan, spoke of the reasons behind this increase. She said, Typically you find that arrears rates rise when economic conditions weaken. The fact that arrears rates are going up probably does speak to persistently low income growth. So overall income growth in the economy is running at about half of long run averages. And what that means is mortgage holders, in general, are using a greater portion of their income to pay back the mortgage. Les Ladke is one of the more than 1 million Australians suffering from mortgage stress. He, along with his wife Sama, bought their dream house in the northern Sydney suburb of Forestville back in 2001. They paid around half a million dollars for it, taking out a $250,000 mortgage. But due to a few health setbacks and some business troubles over the past decade or so, Mr Ladke slowly increased the mortgage from $250,000 to $609,000. Along with some other debts, Mr Ladke now owes over $1 million. He lives on the pension now, so has no way to pay back the debt. His only option is to sell the house. He told the ABC, It's probably the biggest mistake of my life. Never in a million years thought we'd be in this situation. If we fail to get a contract of sale within three months, they've asked us to voluntarily hand over the house. Barbara Finlay, a mother from Perth, bought a house along with her husband back in 2011. She started having troubles paying back her mortgage after splitting up with her husband. She's now $2,000 behind on her mortgage repayments, owes almost $10,000 in bills, and is possibly going to lose her house because of it. She's dipping into her superannuation to cover the debt, and receiving food hampers from her local church to help feed her family. She told the ABC, I didn't want to move out because rental prices are higher than what my mortgage was. I didn't really want to upset my children, so I continued to stay on and pay all the bills on my own. I've got rates that are three, nearly four years behind. Water bills, everything, phone bills, they're all out of control. You don't sleep a lot. You're constantly worrying that you're going to be one of those families who is living in their cars. JP Morgan's Sally Auld spoke of the future of the Australian economy and the weak housing market. She said, It's not our view that over the next 6 to 12 months, the labour market is going to get a lot better. It's not really our view that income growth is going to pick up a whole lot. I think what that tells you is this trend increase in arrears rates is probably likely to continue over the next 6 to 12 months. If you're in difficulty with your mortgage, it's very easy to exit that in a stronger housing market because prices are going up. There is demand for property and it's easy to sell and get rid of the debt. In a softer housing market, that's a lot more difficult to do because you might have to take a hit on the price that you receive. So that means we're probably in a world where mortgages stay in arrears longer than would otherwise be the case. So that's the state of mortgage arrears in Australia. Mortgage stress is up, property prices are down, and despite record low interest rates, the rate of Australians that are set to lose their home due to increasing debts is growing.